Welcome back everybody. We have a great tool to review today. This is from a company named Vivor. And Vivor is a major, it's a big storefront on Amazon. They have a wide diversity of tools. Their slogan is tough tools and equipment, tough equipment and tools, pay less. And I believe them. Look at the quality on this thing. What this is, is a 20 foot extension wand for your pressure washer. Now, those of you that follow my channel know that I use an extension pole for quite a few things, even for a flat surface cleaner, but mine is not this good. And in fact, I have a problem with mine when it's fully extended, it's very floppy, but I can see that this has nice thick poles. And all these sections telescope out, and I'll demonstrate all that, of course. This will be a kind of a long video. But this one is made out of metal. The one I've been using is fiberglass, and I really think it needs to be made out of metal for rigidity. Anyway, these things come shipped in just a regular looking box but you got a nice high quality product in there. And the folks at Vivor wanted me to check this out for you, so that's what I'm gonna do. So the next thing we gotta do is get this out of the box and demonstrate how it extends. Okay, so we have it out of the box and we can take a closer look at everything that comes with it here. We will start over here. So right there, there's a little bag that has the assortment of tips. It's a standard assortment of everything from zero degree to I think 40 degree. And the black one there is a chemical applicator tip. And so it's good to have a fresh set of those. Right here, this is a roll of Teflon tape. And what you do is you wrap that around, this is the, uh, the tip, the end of the wand, which will be screwing onto the end of the pole right there. And so the Teflon tape is to wrap around the threads to make it a uh, better seal. And speaking of which, this is the actual wand on the tip. And I just want to point out it's handy that it has this angle here because, and I'll explain that again later, as you have the pole up vertical, if it were straight, it would be spraying straight up. So it's nice to have the angle there where it'll be facing or bent kind of towards the surface that you're cleaning, you know, 15 feet up or 20 feet up. Uh, over here, this is a backpack brace, which goes around you like a harness and clips onto here and the reason for that is to give you better support because when this is when this is fully extended, it will be hard to hold it up there. And so let's look at the wand itself, the uh, the pole. So these, the hose there. Why it's all external there is because as you extend these sections, you just pick up this clip. And then that will let you bring out the first section and it's going to be hard to do. So uh, what happens there is as you extend each section, like an antenna, it sucks the hose back in through the back and, you know, like one section, about five feet of it will go in. By the time you're in to the last section there, all mm, that's probably about 15 feet of hose because it's about five feet long, five times four sections, four or five sections. <laughs> I'll figure this all out later, but um, it, uh, you know, that's why the hose is so long is because uh, it has to go up the center of the pole. Anyway, let's take it outside and fully extend it to see what that's like.
So here's a look at it cleaning a regular size screen cage. I think it's about 12 feet up and it is extended about halfway. And I also have the pressure down as far as I can go on an idle. So it's probably, I have my pressure washer sprays at about 4,000, 4,100. And so if you throttle it all the way down to an idle, it's probably shooting at about 2,000, which uh, allows you to keep it under control. You don't want to shoot at 4,000 that high up. It's going to be really hard to hold on to. Okay, so here I'm showing an example of extending it all the way, like if you wanted to reach a second story soffit or a second story gutter or a, the top of a higher screen cage. But now in a situation like this, and you'll see in a moment, that you have to turn the pressure way, way down. Like you have to, if you have a strong pressure washer like I do, you're going to want to turn it down to an idle and you're going to want to probably turn the regulator down probably as far as it goes and you'll see in a second here this is um, spraying at an idle but um, you can still see it's um, it's manageable but uh, it can get away from you if you're not careful this is probably a good pressure to be spraying at if you can control that arc but um, otherwise you would want to dial it down even farther So here's a good look at how it would work doing a normal house wash, a no normal height. As you can see, you don't have to get up on a ladder and you also don't have to crouch down because it can reach as high as you want to go and you don't even have to move and then as low as you want to go. And once you reach the bottom, you'll see something, if you were just using a regular size wand, you have to be right up next to the wall. And a lot of times when you get near the ground, you'll run into dirt and it will spray back at you. And you will ironically, as you're cleaning, get very dirty. But if you're using one of these poles, you're very far back from the action. And even if it sprays mud, you're out of range.
So I wanted to make sure I showed this. If you have a flat surface cleaner that is the type that just attaches to the end of your wand, um, different from the type that has, has the handlebars, um, why not use it this way? Um, as far as I know, I'm the only, only one that I've seen doing this, but it makes sense to me. You just kind of stand in the middle of the driveway and extend it to a length where you'll be able to reach both sides and then that way you don't have to walk back and forth and all over the place. You just, you know, just a step forward and a sweep, another step forward and the other direction. Okay, that wraps it up. Uh, if you look down in the description, I've got the uh, the link to it and a coupon code so that you can uh, go check it out for yourself. I'm really happy to have this in my arsenal of pressure washing tools. I'm really, really happy with the way these clips easily open up and you can slide it open or slide it closed to any size you want very quickly. Very, very handy. So anyway, look for more on the channel, and I appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.